Baby, this year it's just gonna be you and me Christmas memories. Good morning. Good morning. We're both here this morning. I'm here. <laughs> Will I? Suxy. This is literally them just woken up. <laughs> Hello. Very loving. And loving and ready for breakfast. So Willow and Socks are very ravenous this morning. So they are ready for their organic fish dinner from Lily's Kitchen. Delicious. So Delicious. <laughs> so this is what they love um, and works really well for their bellies. And just loving these bowls as well that we've had for quite a while now. But I think we got these in the US, didn't we? Yes. Meow. This morning I'm going to do a Joffrey's coffee in the French press. We've got uh, French vanilla, Aulani, Mickey's 90th and Kona blend. Um, I'm going to wait till mid morning for these. I'm going to have a, a normal toffee nut latte in the Dolce Gusto this morning because Rich isn't ready yet. And um, because it's better to do two people's coffee in here, so we'll have a coffee together. And we're going to try using the velvetizer for the milk frother which is much easier than, than using the French press. So I think we mentioned the other day that they are currently um, being looked after by the vets for their kidneys. Um, they're not failing, but there's some some worrying so early signs. So they're on um, some prescription biscuits at the moment, just to help things a little bit. Um, so we got these from uh, Pets at Home. So they're from the Hills range. Prescription, pres uh, can't get my words out today. Prescription diet kidney care. Um, and the good thing is, they love them. Because <laughs> we were a little bit worried that um, anything not really nice, they would turn their nose up at. So we put them in this like little tub here, um, and they have some now and again. So yeah, this is to help their kidneys. Start a new packet of toffee nut latte. Good morning, happy Vlogmas day eight, Tuesday. Um, just got the coffee going. I want to say a quick good morning before I get cracking with work. So see you in a bit. Rich just received a really big box with a hamper inside. It had m and I was like, I've not ordered anything from m and <laughs> No idea who this is from, but it's just for Rich. What do you think it is? Right. Nice stuff in here, but there isn't a note that goes with it. <laughs> Maybe it's hidden inside, but- um, Rich is gonna go digging now. It all looks very nice. Lots of um, wrapping and polystyrene. <laughs> so we have Ooh, some, some Shiraz. Shiraz. We know what that is. Australian <laughs> wine. Rummage, rummage, rummage. What are they? Oh. Oh. We have more wine. More wine. Sauvignon Blanc. <laughs> wow. More. more. I'm not an alcoholic, I promise. <laughs> wow. A Chenon Blanc. Oh, it's white, which is good. Yeah. Like white wine. I like white wine, yeah. Wow. Looking for a note. <laughs> more. More. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> is that a rose? That looks like a rose, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah rosé. Rose. Oh, very nice. Wow. We're still looking for that note. <laughs> <laughs> it's coffee time. So I'm gonna boil the kettle and then make the coffee in the French press. And then we're gonna use the Hotel Chocolat Velvetizer. Now the Velvetizer is our one of our uh, lockdown purchases, um, which makes hot chocolate. But you can also um, kind of froth milk in there quite nicely, uh, much easier than um, what I was doing before, which was using the French press, or we could buy a milk frother, but I thought, this is close enough, this works. So, um, let's make some I coffee. I think we're gonna go for the Aulani blend. Oh yes. For a taste of oh, Hawaii. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna start with about three or four spoonfuls of coffee into I'll here. I'll tell you how good that smells. Add the water, and I'll leave it a little while before, um, pushing right it down. Whilst the coffee's, um, brewing away, I'm, um, gonna pick the mug before I start the velvetizer. So I think I'm gonna go for a nice alien mug for Rich. Is that all right, Rich? That's all right, I'm here. <laughs> Rich is still trying to work out where the package came from. Yep. I'm gonna go for a nice big mug. Brand new day, dream away, that Felicia got us, Felicia and family. Just popped the milk in the velvetizer. I'm going to, um, it, the same really does one glass at a time. So I'm gonna put it on f twice. So for two lots, let's put that on. So that started swirling in there. Oh, look at that. It's gonna be so nice. 
leave this velvetizes or froths for about two minutes and it turns itself off and then we can really easily pour it you can just about hear it they come in three colors actually we, we picked this one so we get rich's caramel so we'll put a couple of um squirts of caramel into the his appetizer has just finished so let's see if we can open that look at that all nice and frothed up i'm trying my best to do this on camera so we're gonna pour the coffee oh there we go nice coffee there we go we won't put too much coffee in to start with and then we're going to pour the velvetized milk in we want to get the froth so i'm going to use a spoon now to do this Okay, I've got you set up so I can hopefully do this on camera, but I want to just scoop that lovely froth into it. There we go. Get all that froth and there we go. There we go. I won't do anything fancy because that's just not. And there we go. A lovely frothy. Olani, Joffrey's. Good morning. Good morning. So Luke has made me a very delicious looking, uh, what was it, Olani, wasn't it? Um, it's Olani and it's got your caramel. Caramel syrup, very frothy. Yeah. Quite well, actually. How do you think? It's the first time using the velvetizer. Is it nice? That's perfect. Yeah? Yeah. Also, update on the mysterious hamper delivery today. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just uh, ran upstairs to speak to a couple of colleagues and it looks like they also received a M&S hamper today. So, we can safely assume that it's from work. So, I'm not really sure whether there was meant to be a note in there or... How nice is that though? But, like, really, really nice. Especially in this climate, to receive a hamper like that from, from your work is just really lovely. Um, so, really nice touch. And the hamper is gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, so I think it's yeah. time to crack open the wine. No. <laughs> no, it's, no, 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 don't do that. Good afternoon. So it is just gone two o'clock and that's it, me done for today. I'm hopefully done today. I might have to log on a bit later. Um, but yeah, so I've mentioned before that I get to finish early one day a week and today is that day. So I've chosen Tuesday today. So pretty much whenever I have an early finish from work, it's sort of tidying up, um, running some errands. Um, just really making myself useful while Luke has to finish work. Um, he's expected to finish it around half past five today, so a bit later than usual. So before I start my lunch, I just wanted to share a really cute video I found on Twitter um, this morning, which I sh we shared on our own Twitter as well. Um, but this is where the internet wins, because this is just absolutely cutest. So I'm gonna play, hopefully the volume's on. It is just the best. Someone has made this. <laughs> Eva! It's just the best. <laughs> it's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So, um,. Yeah, check it out. We did share it on Twitter. Um, check it out. Uh, it will bring a smile to your face, for and sure. Not as exciting as a life-size Wally, for sure. Um, but today's lunch <laughs> is some roasted with rosemary honey, um, butcher-cured British ham slices. So I'm going to have some ham and some bagels. Um, not some bagels, one bagel. <laughs> um, yeah, and that's my lunch Good today. Evening. It's dinner time. So tonight I'm gonna have some yellowfin tuna steaks. And these are actually from uh, Aldi uh, in the frozen section. And they're just really handy. Um, I do love fish. Um, so this is just perfect for a weeknight meal. So we're probably gonna have some salad, some Caesar salad. I'll make some up and some potatoes. And that'll go quite nicely with the tuna steaks. And Luke's gonna have some of the corn seven fried burgers, which I know he had only the other day, but he does absolutely love them. So he's gonna have them again. And um, so yeah, so we're gonna enjoy this tonight. So whilst I was organizing earlier today, I came across quite a few stockings. I thought it'd be nice that I just jump on camera and show you the kind of stockings that we've accumulated over the years. Cause we have accumulated quite a few of these, haven't we? Yeah, it's a really nice one. So, um, yeah, they're just down here. So, I so the first one is this very fluffy traditional stocking here, which is so soft and so warm. So um, I think we need to hang this up 
um, by the tree for sure. And then we have one that's very fitting for the cats. We have a perfect Christmas with all the paw prints on. Uh, I'm not actually sure where we got this from, but it is very nice. So um, I feel like it was a garden set. Yeah, I feel like. Or yeah. Or and did we get two? One for Willow and one for Socks? No, I think we only got one. Okay, so they have to share this one, I'm afraid, but um, <laughs> but really love it. So um, not as soft as this one, but still nice. Of course, we have some Disney. So oh, we have that was the softest one. This is probably the softest, yeah. So in softing order, this this one, this one, then this one. Uh, so we have Mickey poking out here, um, and this one was from Primark. I want to say. Yeah, I think it was Primark. Yeah, Primark. Um, not sure when, maybe last year. Um, yeah, we really like that one. And then we have this one from Disneyland Paris, um, which is a little bit smaller, it's like a mini stocking. It came with like chocolates, I think. Inside. It did, but the chocolates are no longer there. They've magically disappeared. <laughs> we took that, that one, those ones to Florida in 2017, I think. We did. 2017, 2016. So there's Mickey and Minnie there in their festive outfits with the tree. And yeah, I love that one. And it's not a stocking, but I thought I'd mention it anyway because I also found this. Um, this is um, a personalised um, Christmas sack, Father Christmas sack that I got for Luke a few years ago. So I got it all um, embroidered, is that the word? Yeah. Um, personalised. Personalised. And it's sort of, would you say tartan yeah. inside? I'm using the right words today. <laughs> um, is there any more stockings over there? And it's uh, got a gold tassel here uh, yeah so um are there more stockings over there is that it i don't know i'll have Luke a quick was look. determined to find this stocking this is the one that we were thinking about that we were missing i knew i'd seen <laughs> it like, like a couple of days ago i was like where's the blue one yeah so chip and dow in the teacups um generally speaking you wouldn't find me in a teacups but as long as they're having fun yeah. that's the main thing um you've got some christmas lights here this is from walt disney world um Twenty nine ninety nine. In case you're interested, I'm not sure if it's still sold. Um, but yeah, this one's very soft as well. Um, I forgot we had this one. Mm. A couple of years ago, I think. Yeah. From the Chris Days of Christmas shop in Disney Springs. Yeah. I remember buying it. I remember. It's funny that you always remember buying certain things where like, you were. Because I just knew straight away, Chip and Dale and the teacups. I was like, that's got to be the one. Also, yeah. I have no idea where this has come from. Do you remember where this is from? No. I've got no idea, but it was with the Chippendale, um, <laughs> <laughs> um, it was with the Chippendale, what's it called? Stocking. Stocking. Yeah, but it's like a Father Christmas hat, we're just very thin, I've just, I'm just, I don't know where it's come from. You're really giving it a lot of description, and a lot of air time. Yeah, but there we go, I thought Are I'd just mention it. you wear that to work at your work, do Yeah, my work do's tomorrow, so maybe I'll wear it then. On teams, you can wear it on teams with a Christmas jumper, that'd be quite cool. Yeah, thanks for the idea. <laughs> Hello. You can just about see us. Just about see us. We're just in the car. We're waiting for it to warm up a little bit. It's cold. It's cold. <laughs> We're heading to Pets at Home to get some cat food. Sheba. Yeah, we, just, we always do our... Um, we do collect, click and collect a few times. Mm -hmm. but then they tended to have better deals in store. So we're heading in store. Um, and then I'm going to pop to Morrison's for a few essentials. When we say tizer. essentials, we mean Tizer. It's uh, like, I've been searching for Tizer for so long and I'm thinking that Morrison's has it. Fingers and, crossed. And some bread. Oh yeah, and bread. bread and tizer tizer mainly. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so cold tonight. <sighs> so we're going to get going and get the car warmed up. We've arrived at Pets at Home. So we've got lots of shops here. We're only heading for Pets at Home though. Yeah. Um, and then further down is Morrison's. We'll go there in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making it sound really exciting when all it is is a shop. <laughs> okay, here we go. Pets at home. So we're going to get some Sheba for the cats. Um, just check out if there's anything else we need. And then we'll head down to Morrison's. So this is the deal that we always go for. So this 12 for 10, 20 for 16, 26 for 20. It just works out so much cheaper than the main stores. Um, it's a really good deal and I think you get extra discount when you scan your Pets at Home loyalty card as well. So we'll get them the purple ones and then down here we'll get them the tuna ones as well. They love it. And the hunt for Tizer continues and Luke just stay uh, reminded me not to forget bread as well. So I have to get bread <laughs> and not just Tizer. Oh wow, I found Tizer 85p in Morrison's. Amazing and in case you're wondering, it's the Great British Pop 
Also, cream soda is an absolute must at Christmas, so this is definitely coming home with us tonight. Here he comes. He's got his Tizer. <laughs> very happy. Someone is very, very pleased. I got it! <laughs> I saw the red goodness in the distance down the yard. I was like, yes, that is Tizer. I'm getting it. Are you going to show everyone? Yes. <laughs> It is the magic. <laughs> the great British, British pop, it says. Apparently only sold in Morrison's because it was nowhere else. Wow. Um, also got some cream soda as well. Oh yeah, we're sorted for Christmas. We're sorted for Christmas. And some bread. And some, yeah, we're not even worried about the bread. <laughs> no bread. <laughs> I got the bread though, yeah. So you're very happy. Very happy. Oh, we come. So we've received these wonderful gifts from Anesco. Um, a wonderful lady, Anne-Marie, messaged us um, and the company Inesco are the who coordinate and um, have a number of brands that do Disney merchandise. So this one is Department 56. It's the North Pole series and it's, look at this, Mickey's Ear Factory. I love it. Look it's at the so snowy festive. ears, they're so cute. And the little snow globe. So we're gonna get these out and just show you. So first up we have Mickey and Minnie water ball. This is so, so cute. So cute and it lights up. So it's got little lights and it takes three AA batteries. Mm-hmm. And you've got Mickey and Minnie in there. And if you turn it upside down and back again, it's With a little snow globe. Christmas tree. And look at that. That is just beautiful. I love it. It's so festive. I can't wait to put this up on the cabinet. Yeah, me too. And look at the Mickey Ear Factory. It's so cute. I, I'm just in love with the snowy ears. That is just Christmas all over. It's got a little sign there that says, what does it say on it? It says, create your own ears. So cute. Struggling to focus on that. Here we go. So this one is actually mains operated. So the one we had before was battery power, but this is mains. So we do the the, the lighting ceremony. Here we go. Oh, how cozy does that look? I love how it lights up inside, like it all goes round, illuminates it's it. So cute. See all around. And have a quick look at the back as well. So it's fully ceramic. Really good quality. Love massive it. thank you to Anne-Marie and Inesco for these gifted products. So they in touch. Yeah, they're gifted for us. Um, so lucky to have such lovely presents given to us. They're so. just beautiful and we can't wait to have this um, as a traditional um, decoration every year. Yeah, truly. So I'm just making us a hot drink this evening. Um, Luke's going for his turquoise Mickey mug. Uh, this is the one I've picked out for him. Um, I did go and ask him if he had any preference and he said no. So this is the one he's getting. Um, so he's going to have some English breakfast Harrods uh, blended black tea with a couple of uh, sweeteners in there. Uh, we tend to have sweeteners rather than actual sugar uh, if we're having tea. Um, but what I'm having is the Wittard Turkish Delight flavour hot chocolate, which, as I said the other day, I am so in love with Turkish Delight. It is one of my favourite sweets to have. So putting it in hot chocolate is just a win-win for me. Um, so I've got some milk on the hob at the moment because that's what it says in the instructions. It says three, ho uh, three heapfuls, um, spoonfuls, uh, but two more if you're feeling like you want more Turkish Delight flavour. I don't know if I'll be that brave. So I was a bit excited to have the Riviera mug. This one actually changes colour when you put hot water in, but quality control, this one looks a bit smeary, so this one's gonna go back in the dishwasher um, and we'll choose another one. Oh, what are you gonna do? We haven't got any more mugs. No, <laughs> we've run out of mugs. There we go, this mug looks much better. So we're gonna go with Mickey through the years. Uh, we don't often have this mug, um, but I'm gonna show it some love today. So this is what we're gonna have um, for our afternoon drink, Mickey through the years. The smell right now is unreal. Like, it's literally, as soon as you pop that lid, it is Turkish Delight. So I know for sure I'm gonna love this. Here we go. Turkish Delight hot it chocolate. It really smells stronger than Turkish Delight. Gorgeous. Yeah? Lovely, yeah, so good. Thumbs up, let's see what we get. Today, we have, oh, Anglesey Sea Salt. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. I hope you've had a good day. Um, we've had a busy day with work. I worked late, um, haven't had my hair cut yet. <laughs> That's just testament to working late. Still no hair cut, but I <laughs> promised I would do it this week, I promise. You know what it's like in the run up to Christmas, I'm not sure about you guys, it just gets really busy. 
Um, everyone's obviously rushing to get things done. There's a lot of talk about companies closing down for Christmas this year, so I think there's a rush this week. Yeah, I'm feeling that. Yeah, definitely. So, Advent time. So we're going to start with the Disney one. Yep. So there yesterday's question, I can't believe it's day eight already, which means we're a third of the way through Vlogmas. Mm -hmm. Crazy. Um, okay, so yesterday's question was, what is the slogan for Monsters Incorporated? And the answer was, we scare because we care. <laughs> <laughs> and I think, it, I think it's written on the Monsters Inc. ride in um, Tokyo Disneyland. Yeah, I think it is. So that's what I was thinking Which about. is an amazing Disney park, by the way. Yeah, if you ever get the chance, Tokyo Disneyland, yes. Um, so we had some correct answers to well done, everyone. Uh, Julie Daly, the fam. We scare because we care. One of my son Zach's favourite Disney movies. Loving the Vlogmas this year. Can't wait for tomorrow's love from Michigan in the US. Oh, I love it. Thank you. Uh, Melissa of Tarth. I'm pretty sure the answer is we scare because we care. Also, I can really understand Luke's obsession with the toffee nut latte. Can't get oh, enough of it. So good. I've seen so many of you guys buying it and sharing it. So I, I, I love it. It more, nice. more are coming tomorrow. <laughs> I'm due a delivery. I'm it's running out. It's true. Um, Kat says, we scare because we care. Loving Vlogmas, we watch it while we eat our lunch every day. P.S. I googled TGFOP, Tugfop. <laughs> from your, from your tea <laughs> From yesterday. my tea yesterday, because I wasn't sure. So thank you for googling it. Uh, it seems to mean tippy golden flowery orange pe pico. Well, thank you for checking that. Yeah, thank you for letting us know because I didn't get the chance to check it. So thank you very much. So thank you everyone for answering uh, yesterday's Disney quiz. And today's question is... Today's question is... What were Mickey's first words on film? Oh, What were Mickey's first words on film? Of course. And Luke below. was looking down here because he thought I, I was showing the answer. The answer it's but not he, it's not there because I learned from yesterday because you saw the answer. <laughs> so if you think you know the answer or just give it a guess, comment below. We're looking forward to hearing. So it's been great getting some more emails today. We've got an email from Alex Johnson um, and a picture of the tree. And there's a little kitty there, which is really, really cute. And I'm loving the big star on top of your tree. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much. Really nice message on there as well. Um, also, we've got picture and uh, a message from um, Freddie Cowie, who works in Harrods, and sent us a picture of Very all lucky. it up, which looks amazing. We're so disappointed we're not going to get to Harrods this year, unfortunately, but it will have to be next year. Two trips next year. Yes, definitely. Um, also, Kerry Parkinson sent us a really homely, they've put the fire on their TV, and it just looks really Perfect, homely, yeah. really lovely. Um, I'll just say there's one more. Um, Jeremy and Michelle Knight from Canada um, sent us a lovely picture of their tree. With Big tree. Loads of presents <laughs> underneath already, which is lovely. <laughs> yep. So now it's time for the Genevieve Daily Quiz Advent Calendar. So the question, are you going to read the question to me today? Yeah, I've got to read the, um, the clue it for you. Because I'm, I'm hoping today is the day that when you read the clue, when I read the clue, you're going to get it straight away. Okay, so it's number eight. Day eight. Oh, it's Japan related. Um, if you remember from your trips to Japan, everything came so small and compact. This is no different. Try these in each of your favourite flavours. Okay, so it's is edible. It? Ooh! Are they mints? Yeah, they're like Japanese. Oh, I was thinking Asahi, mints. Asahi, Asahi. Uh, mint, so this flavour is we're wild and cool. Ooh. And it's um, mintier. And I think that's uh, Mount Fuji on the front. And looks like grape. Oh, Luke loves grape. Japanese grape. Oh, amazing. Genevieve, you've done well. So well again. So, thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's really exciting. I love doing this advent calendar. I love it. And then some tea for today. So today's tea advent. Yeah. Anyone else getting through their tea? Um, I'll probably be having my tea bags in January. <laughs> <laughs> Today, at number eight, I've got turmeric gold pucker tea. And if you haven't tried pucker tea, it's really nice. I do like pucker tea. A gold blend of the finest turmeric, lemon fruit, and green tea. Sounds nice. Smells nice. <laughs> and whilst Luke. Yeah, oh, that's not nice. That's yeah. nice. And whilst you're opening yours, I was getting a head start on my advent calendar. This one's much simpler than yesterday's. It says it is what it is. Um, so we've got today, uh, door number eight is plum. 
apple and cinnamon infusion. Oh, that sounds good. Now, I'm not too keen on cinnamon, but I'm thinking with the plum and the apple, it might not be so strong. Yeah, good combination. Good combination. Though. So, looking forward to trying that. And we also got a package from our lovely friends, Felicia and family. Um, Felicia so sent us the nicest presents. Um, we're, we're just in the middle of tracking our package that we've sent to Felicia. <laughs> yeah. We're just hoping it gets there in the next week. Hoping. Come so, on, Royal Mail. So first up, what's inside is Milano's. So if you haven't tried these in America, you may have seen us in our vlogs on Walmart or Target. Milano cookies. They're so good. This is the mint chocolate ones. And we got the candy cane version as well. Never tried the candy cane. Never candy. tried the candy cane version of Milano. So super excited for those. So excited. We've also got... And I did... <laughs> I didn't think we were going to get any of this this year, so I was feeling really down. Um, Costco, we didn't get a chance to go to Costco. No. But peppermint bark. <laughs> oh, yes. Ghirardelli. Yeah. So thank you so much, because that is like a Christmas staple for us. And We were only saying the other week that it's such a shame that this year is going to be without uh, peppermint bark, Ghirardelli, but alas, no. Thank you, Felicia and family. <laughs> and earlier, Rich was talking about um, stockings. And we didn't realise, <laughs> but Felicia got us a cute little stock in each. Oh, I love it. So you've got the child. I've got the child, yep. Who's not the Mandalorian, it's the <laughs> child. <laughs> and I've got the Mickey one, which is so cute, Christmassy. I love them so much. So lovely. And then there's something alien here. Oh. I think we might have to open it. <laughs> yeah. This is definitely for Rich, as the number one alien fan. Really? <laughs> <laughs> so look at this. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, wow. I love it so much. Look at the aliens. Oh, this is something. Do you know what? This is from Target, I think. This is, I think, is from Target. Yeah. So, um, thank you so, so much. This has put a smile on my face big time. So, I can't thank you enough. That's going to be so kind. Vlogmas outfit. Yeah. <laughs> and there's another t-shirt in there mm. as well. Another t-shirt. Also alien. This is so colourful and so up my street. <laughs> Look, Look at, at them, they're so cute. <laughs> it's the aliens in all the... Is there the Wally alien in there? Is there the Wally alien? I can't see. I can't see from this angle. No, but it's got the Buzz Lightyear. It's got Nemo. It's got Incredibles. It's, it's got them all. Woody, it's got a Woody <laughs> it's alien. Got Woody alien. <laughs> oh, that's Look so cute. That. Oh, that's just brilliant. And what did you get? We also got this amazing reindeer game circus animal cookies, um, which look like festive um, goodness. Goodness. <laughs> <laughs> festive goodness. I love all the American um, Christmassy stuff. So yeah. Cookies or biscuits, as we would say. Yeah. And there was a lovely, cute little card for for me, direct to me. Yeah, and um, because I got the the jumper and the t-shirt, and Felicia says, since Rich got the alien goodies, here's something for you to spend. So thank you so much. Thank you. They're so kind. So, kind. so, um, so we're just praying that our parcel arrives with you in the next week or so, <laughs> maximum. Yeah. So we hope you've enjoyed Vlogmas Day Eight. Sorry they're a bit shorter in the week, but we don't really do anything exciting. Uh, and it's busy, busy, busy. Lo of often working over hours, so yeah. Rich has got his um, virtual Christmas party tomorrow, so he's gonna be logging on upstairs. I'm not sure if I'll get to film him, you know, dressed up or... <laughs> We're meant to be doing like Christmas jumpers and whatever else, but yeah, we'll it's see really how it nice. goes. And I think you're getting a takeaway, aren't you? Yes, so they've given us a voucher to get um, everyone to get a takeaway, so everyone gets a takeaway delivered um, in the middle of the virtual Christmas party, and it's we've got so some cool. activities. It's gonna be cool. It's good fun. I'll be knocking on the door, let me in. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yes, see you guys tomorrow for day nine. See you tomorrow. Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me. Hang by the fire and chill. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories. Oh, and I've been longing to hold you close. Forget about everyone else. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories.